Dear parishioners, this is the weekend of May 15th. Ask the Lord to bless you. Spring has sprung. The flowers are blooming, the trees are turning green. It's just a beautiful time. It's a resurrection season. It's as if all of creation is saying, He is risen, Alleluia. It's beautiful. I hope that you uh, just enjoy the, the glory of it. But also be careful, the sun is hitting pretty hard. I went canoeing uh, this past week, and I went with my convertible without the top. I forgot my hat, and boy, did I get burned. Holy mackerel. So uh, just be careful there, especially those of you who uh, have convertibles just like I do. <clears throat> so enjoy this beautiful spring season. This weekend uh, is dedicated to vocations. Uh, it's called Vocation Sunday. So what? let me just uh, share a few thoughts about that. Well, first of all, we all have a vocation, and the fundamental vocation is always the same. The fundamental vocation we have is to love, to love the neighbor, to love ourselves, to love those around us. So what's the difference between having a job and a vocation? You know, let's say, for example, somebody's a teacher. Well, being a teacher is a job. You know, you sit in front of students and you teach them stuff and you, you try your best to make them understand something and uh, you go home at night and bring your paycheck. Okay, that's a job. A vocation of a teacher is something different. I go in not just to teach the students, I go in because I feel a call, a call from God to put my talents at the service of the children. Now, practically speaking, it comes out more or less the same thing. You're still teaching them subjects, matters, uh, mathematics, geography, and so forth. But the difference is what's in the heart. I'm doing it for a higher motive. I'm doing it because of my love of God and the love of the children or the young people I'm teaching. I'm doing it because I feel God calling me to help them to grow as human beings. Now, of course, a teacher who does a job as a teacher does the same thing. Uh, they teach the geography and mathematics the same way, but the motivation is quite different. At the heart of a vocation is a calling from God to do it for him. And the word vocation, vocare, vocare, vocal, it means God has called me. And so in a sense, you might say that every, every job that we do is a vocation. But there are specific kinds of vocations as well, which are sort of fundamental vocations, you know. Uh, you can ch change from being a teacher to becoming an, a, a nurse, for example or from being a teacher to becoming a construction person. But the fundamental vocations are lifelong commitments. For example, and I think the most fundamental vocation, of course, is marriage. And we have a real crisis of marriage vocations in our time. Sometimes I hear Catholics say, oh, there's a crisis of vocations, referring to priesthood. But I don't think that's the fundamental vocation, fundamental crisis in my view. I think the fundamental crisis is a crisis of marriage, that the people no longer value and recognize the uh, sacredness of marriage as intended by God. And so we need to rediscover that, you know. The vocation is a call from God. It's a call from the Lord to build a home. Um, even we see in our society that there's a lot of control of birth and that kind of thing. Uh, we've lost a sense that God's the author of life. We need to be much more tuned to what the Lord is calling us to rather than what we financially decide to plan. Doesn't mean being irresponsible, but recognizing this is a deeper motivation in marriage. And so many of them, many people in our society don't bother getting married even at all. And uh, no, they can make perfectly good marriages, but the motivation is different vocation, vocare, God has called me to honor and love this woman, to honor and love this man, so we can build something beautiful to his glory, a cathedral of our family. 
So there are other vocations too, which are fundamental to the church. Um, religious women who uh, build up the kingdom of God by their spiritual maternity. Like, for example, one of my sisters is a, is a religious nun, and she is a spiritual mother to many people by her life, by her generosity, by her wonderful prayerfulness. So there's got, got women who can live a celibate life at the service of the Lord. There's also uh, permanent deacons. That's a vocation as well. Permanent deacons uh, who are at the service of the church. They work at a full-time job. Uh, they're married. They have a family. They have children. But they're also clergy. They're at the service of the church. We have one here at our parish called Francois Gilbert. And we used to have Silva Russell, who was one of our permanent deacons. So those are some fundamental vocations of life of the church. We need to pray that the Lord would raise up vocations in the life of the church, you know. Um, oh, yeah, there's one other one I was, didn't think about, but it's uh, um, priesthood. Priesthood is, is a vocation of, uh, of being a, sh a spiritual father for people. It's, uh, it's a fundamental vocation in the life of the church in order to ensure the community has a spiritual father, spiritual head. Uh, but of our day, that's not a very popular calling today. There's not many young men who have that sort of real love of the Lord to want to do that. So we need to pray that there'd be a, a generosity uh, around that so that uh, the Lord will provide for us the pastors and shepherds that we need. So this is Vocation Sunday. Um, just a few things on my mind as well before we move on. Um, there, uh, we're offering, as part of our vision for the parish, we're trying to really help people to build a stronger sense of outreach and community. So we intend in the next number of months to hire somebody full-time to work in what we call Catholic Action. It's a service of sort of coordinating the actions of the parish for the service of the poor and immigrants and that kind of thing, the Ukrainians who arrive and that kind of thing. Uh, they'll be coming up shortly. We'll be running a family camp this summer. Hope that some of you might be interested. We've got a place for 12 families, a camp to kind of build a sense of community together. It's going to be in St. Gabriel. Uh, it's for a week. So you have to plan, of course, your holidays around that. But a great chance to kind of build as a community uh, on June the 5th, we have our fam fair parish feast day, the Feast of Pentecost. So we'll be offering a meal and uh, having some games and things. But we need some volunteers who'd be willing to help out with that, you know, people who are cooks, people who are willing to set up, uh, people who are willing to clean up after, uh, people to help organize the various activities of the day. So please let us know if you'd like to uh, engage your energy towards that. These are what we call little callings of God, what I call mini vocations, you know. But it takes a whole community to build uh, a parish, eh? So I wish you a very nice, uh, wonderful day. Uh, just to put on a little bug in your ear, uh, we have been working for one year on a new website for St. Suzanne's and Jesus Light of the World Parish. And it will be coming out on the 31st of May, the end of May. So it's kind of exciting. Looking forward to seeing it. I hope that you, I hope you like it, you know. Like I said, we've worked very hard on this thing. Uh, Stefan and his team have worked very hard on it. So it's kind of an exciting development coming up. Okay, so this Sunday the Lord says, I give you a new way of living, a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. That's the essence of every vocation. So may you have a blessed week. May the Lord guide you and bless your families. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Love you.